Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the interpolation curve and how actually changing the settings on this curve will affect how the animation churns out in the end for uh, any animation between two keyframes. Now normally you have a straight line interpolation curve and what that means is that the animation is going to progress at a steady pace between the starting keyframe and the ending keyframe. So here I have at frame 60, uh, Miku is just in her defaults. But if I click on frame 60, you see that her arm rotates up. But on every frame, it moves an equal amount towards that point. So let's go ahead and play this animation as it is normally without messing with the interpolation curve. So you can see it just goes smoothly up towards frame 60 and that there's no acceleration or deceleration uh, during the course of that animation. But if we say go back to frame 60, select the uh, keyframe that we want to modify and actually select these red axes and move them around on the interpolation curve, that's where things are going to start to change. So by moving the X, uh, the top right X to the top left, the animation should now uh, start very fast and then it slows down as it reaches frame 60. So let's go ahead and play that. Right, okay, one more time. So you can see at the start, it almost jumps straight into about what would have previously been frame 10 or so. But at the later frames, it does slow down a lot. And likewise, if I change the position of this X to the lower right hand corner, then you can see that it's going to start very slow and it's going to speed up as it uh, reaches the top. Uh, the faster or the uh, quicker it's going to the top on this interpolation curve, like right here, the faster the frame's going to move. And the quicker it's moving towards the right uh, on this graph is basically going to mean that it takes up more frames for the amount of distance traveled. So you can kind of think of the y-axis as uh, distance traveled and the x as the, or the x-axis left or right as the, um, a uh, number of frames that it takes to get there. So let's go ahead and play this now that it should start slow and end fast. So you can see very slow mechanical motion, almost like she's winding up for something, and then it progresses very fast at the end towards where we want it to be. Uh, so that's the general idea with the interpolation curve. You can, of course, uh, mess around with it a little bit, uh, change the location of both of these axes to get it kind of how you want it. Like here, we have a curve where it's going to start fast, slow down, and then go fast again. So let's play this out. But in general, uh, that's the main idea behind the interpolation curve. It just allows you to smooth out animations and get them to progress how you want instead of just being a flat speed over time. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and until my next one, I'll see you then.